So there's a few things that I don't do as a married woman. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? As a married woman. Number one, I do not cook for my husband. I only cook for my children. My husband will be making his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Fellas, this is the reason why you avoid modern women. The juice isn't worth the squeeze. Why is it that every time women are confronted or asked a question, they always lead with what they're not going to do? There is a double standard. Why can't I do this to a man? But when you're out there dating hood guys, drug dealers, and scammers, you don't say that. Number two, I do not help him pay any bills. What the fuck, y'all? God damn! God damn! So if he is short on the rent, on utilities or anything like that, it is not my problem. I will not be helping him out. You raggedy bitch. His job is to provide for his family. So I am not financially contributing to any of the bills. Number three, I do not do his laundry. Oh, shit. I have my own laundry and my children's laundry to do. So he could do his own. I won't help him. Put it away i won't help him fold anything like he, that's his responsibility number four he is responsible for replacing any of his essentials like soap shampoo anything like that he needs to go buy it himself even if i'm at the store i will not be replacing it for him if he needs new underwear new socks or anything like that that's for him to do i'm not gonna do it for him i'm not gonna enable a perfectly grown ass adult because then they get used to that shit. So, no. I'm fully convinced that modern women have no concept of what a good man is. No. They have no concept of what a good man does. Because think about it. Why would you get married to someone and then proceed to tell them what you're not going to do? Marriage is about sacrifice. It's about compromise. It's about working as a team. So you mean to tell me that if your man fell on hard times, you wouldn't help him? You mean to tell me that if your man wanted a home-cooked meal, he wouldn't get one? So again, I ask, what's the point? If I was this husband, I would have three mistresses, and a side chin, because enough is enough. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Men are already disenfranchised in the world that we live in now. We live in a society where men are blamed for everything and women are blamed for nothing. Society coddles women. Society allows women to make mistakes, continue to lie, and continue to not take accountability. He ain't lying. We see a perfect case of women co-signing with this woman about what she's not going to do. See, the sisterhood is co-signing with this woman, but the sisterhood wants Simone Biles to divorce her husband because he's a good man. Don't you see the correlation here be behind what's really going on in the sisterhood? When you're not doing for a man, women are happy. When you're a good wife, when you're an honorable woman, when you're a woman of value and you add to a man's life, all of a sudden, you're public enemy number one for the sisterhood. He ain't lying.
And women need to understand that it's very hard to have women friends. Single people create other single people. Losers create losers. Lames create lames. 304s create 304s. So if you're around a bunch of women like this, chances are you think, act, and believe the same things. Because it's just like they say, birds of a feather flock together. So when you're dating, when you have friends, when you have family, when you have people in your life, you have to be very careful about who you associate with. Because women like this are usually single, lonely, they're unhappy, their man is unhappy, or they're being cheated on. And rightfully so. And see a lot of women, and I'm going to go there, a lot of women say all, all men cheat, but they never say why. Yep. Do you think that a decent man is not going to cheat on his woman if she's not doing anything at home? Yep. Ladies, I want you to remember one thing. What one woman won't do, another woman will. A lot of people say it's cheaper to keep her, but a lot of people always say happy wife, happy life. But I'm going to flip that. It's time for men to say happy man, happy land. Happy man, happy house. Because the man is supposed to be happy too. And we live in a society that doesn't care about man's happiness. They reward women for doing bad things to men. But then when men do good things for women, or when men talk about men's mental health, nobody cares. But you expect a man to be the head of the household to provide, protect, and take care of the house, but you don't want to be a decent human being. You don't want to treat that man with common courtesy and decency. You don't want to treat that man like he's supposed to be treated. How dare you? Any woman that believes and supports this woman deserves to be cheated on. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next video, Peace. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now.